welcome to another episode today we have the question and answer session the question is uh, which came first the chicken or the egg the egg or the chicken which came first this is a age old uh, question and uh, this question came initially from greece to it is proposed by philosophers to describe the cause and effect problem the theory of cause and effect so I explain that this paradox which came first the chicken or the egg egg or the chicken so there is no definite answer to that in a normal sense because you require a chicken to lay the egg but there should be an egg to hatch a chicken so that is a in the face of it it is an unsolvable problem so what is the modern take on this let us see that first is a the quantum answer this is a source from indefinite casual order in a quantum switch published in the physical review of letters 2018 science day so according to the modern quantum take both can exist simultaneously so quantum theory and quantum field are a little bit different uh, setup time in the normal sense is linear and uh, only one can exist you should have a egg to hatch a chicken and then chicken to lay an egg so it is in that order normally time moves in the normal sense of our life in the time space but in the quantum field it is different a team of physicists from university of queensland and neil institute had uh, done an experiment and uh, of course they are not done with chicken and egg they are done with quantum switch and uh, dr Jackie Romero from Art Center of Excellence he says cause and effect is not always a straight forward one one event causing the other it is according to quantum physics in the physical world it is definite there is a cause and there is an effect so in the quantum mechanics it can happen without a set order so in the normal daily trip like to the office maybe you have a sequence where you travel partly by bus and then by train normally you take the bus first and then the train if that is in a set order and it can happen only one after the other the first leg of your travel there is no connection by the train so you have to travel by bus and then you take a train that is the order and it can happen one after another that is a normal sequence of time in the real world but in the quantum world it can be done it can happen both can happen simultaneously or not in the specific order so quantum physics calls this indefinite casual order and that is not in the everyday life time is linear in everyday life so indefinite casual order in quantum physics means there is no set order so to observe this effect in a lab they used a photonic quantum switch 
Dr. Fabio Costa with this device the order of the events transformations on the shape of the light it depends upon the polarization so they did this with the quantum switch and what they had done is experimented with the light and it polarizes light by measuring the polarization of the output of the quantum switch they were able to show that the order of the transformation of the shapes of the light was not a set phenomena the order was changed reversed so that is the first proof of the principle of about the set orders it need not happen in set orders not in the real world scenario in a lab condition using a quantum switch they were able to see that the light the order can be changed it need not be in a particular order so large scale on a large scale this indefinite casual order can have real and practical applications like making computers more efficient or improving communication so this research was published by physical reviews letters in the american physical society also so we have seen as per our point of physics if you extrapolate that to chicken and egg both can exist simultaneously in the quantum world that is a modern take as per quantum then uh, the evolutionary answer what is the evolutionary answer how we would have come evolutionary answer is like no man evolved from a monkey so the chicken must have evolved from some other bird or animal maybe most probably a bird it must have evolved like a man has evolved from a monkey the question so is the question of you know, starting from a chicken or an egg does not arise it has evolved from some other bird but more on this evolutionary the recent research has show how life originated a similar way taking it much more deeply how the life has originated the chicken and egg goes to the cause and effect phenomena so much deeper how the life came about so this is done in a research by people effects of stalling of mismatches and the rna application by sudha rajamani and others so with this research they have come to it is not a proof but a theory that first part might have come from rna ribo nucleic acid it was a single stranded molecular forerunner of the dna in every animal's genes so rna has a simple structure which is self replicating structures so estimates of the error rates in the rna ran around 20% there are one in five chance of getting a mismatch while replicating yeah rna simple rna structures responsible for copy fidelity or 30 units long getting to that point is practically written with copies would steal chemical resources from successful impossible practically impossible and error ridden copies would steal chemical resources from successful molecules but researchers have observed that dna sometimes stalls when error occurs during self replication if that could happen to rna 
then only accurate copies would come can you to replicate so they proved uh, Chen's team actually there is one scientist Chen used uh, a short strand of DNA as a proxy they put the strands in a mixture of organic compounds known to have existed on earlier earth and tagged with fluorescent proteins that allowed reactions to be tracked and as the researchers watched the errors caused the DNA self-replication to slow down So this is merely an approximation of earlier chemistry. But if such a pause existed for RNA, RNA, that would have allowed RNA to evolve into complicated forms. What they are trying to tell, like one and five RNA will be error, might have been an error copy. There are chances there will be error copies. If that is produced, multiplied, then that would have taken away all the proteins from the organism and a complicated structure for a living organism might not have developed. But when they observe simulating the earlier primitive chemical structure, creating a situation ambience then they observed that the dna was stalling when there is a error so they don't reproduce a wrong dna the reproduction the copy if it is not true it slowed down its replication so if it existed for rna then only right copies of the rna would have multiplied and that would have produced a complicated life form. So that may have been, this RNA might have been the origin of the whole life form on Earth. So that is going beyond the chicken and egg paradox. The original or the originator of the life form may be RNA, the ribonucleic acid. So that is the answer to the chicken and egg paradox. The chicken and egg paradox, as per quantum theory, it can exist simultaneously. And as per latest evolutionary theories, it all started from one RNA, single RNA, which multiplied to create complex organism of life and of course in due course produced all living things including the chicken and egg which were evolved so with this we will end this episode to discuss that you know, how life forms evolved an interesting topic thank you stay with me for another episode Subscribe to my channel, share this video, thank you.